Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. Union with Christ August 27 But put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ, and make not provision for the flesh, to fulfill the lusts thereof. Romans 13.14 to effect the salvation of men, God employs various agencies. He speaks to them by His Word and by His ministers, and He sends by the Holy Spirit messages of warning, reproof, and instruction. These means are designed to enlighten the understanding of the people, to reveal to them their duty and their sins, and the blessings which they may receive to awaken in them a sense of spiritual want that they may go to Christ and find in Him the grace they need. Every individual, by his own act, either puts Christ from him by refusing to cherish his spirit and follow his example, or he enters into a personal union with Christ by self-renunciation, faith and obedience. We must, each for himself, choose Christ because He has first chosen us. This union with Christ is to be formed by those who are naturally at enmity with Him. It is a relation of utter dependence to be entered into by a proud heart. This is a close work, and many who profess to be followers of Christ know nothing of it. They nominally accept the Saviour, but not as the sole ruler of their hearts. To renounce their own will, perhaps their chosen object of affection or pursuit, requires an effort at which many hesitate and falter and turn back. Yet, this battle must be fought by every heart that is truly converted. We must war against temptations without and within. We must gain the victory over self, crucify the affections and lusts, and then begins the union of the soul with Christ. After this union is formed, it can be preserved only by continual, earnest, painstaking effort. Christ exercises His power to preserve and guard this sacred tie, and the dependent, helpless sinner must act his part with untiring energy, or Satan, by his cruel, cunning power, will separate him from Christ. Your birth, your reputation, your wealth, your talents, your virtues, your piety, your philanthropy will not form a bond of union between your soul and Christ. Your connection with the church will be of no avail unless you believe in Christ. It is not enough to believe about Him. You must believe in Him. You must rely wholly upon His saving grace.